The Lewis structure of magnesium nitride has magnesium, a metal, from the left side of the periodic table, bonding to nitrogen, a non-metal, from the right-hand side. Metals and non-metals combine to make ionic compounds, where the metals give away electrons to the non-metals. Let's investigate magnesium in group 2 has two valence electrons, 1, 2. Nitrogen in group 15 brings five valence electrons. Nitrogen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just spreading them out before I double them up. It's good form. Now the name of the game is that the metals need to give away all their electrons to be empty, and the non-metals need eight electrons each to be satisfied. That's the octet rule. So that electron from magnesium is going to get paired up somewhere. This electron gets paired up somewhere. That magnesium is now happy because he's given away all his electrons. But that nitrogen is not happy. He brought five and gained two. That's seven electrons. He wants eight. That's why it's called the octet rule. So bring in another magnesium. Take one of those electrons and use it to pair up with that one from nitrogen. Now that nitrogen is happy. But magnesium has an extra electron. What are we going to do with that? Bring in another nitrogen with its five valence electrons and give that electron away. Nitrogen, this one, still needs more. Brought five, gained one. It's only at six. But this is where the train comes to a stop. Magnesium brings two each. So it can give one electron away here, give the other electron away here, and now everyone's happy. Now all the magnesiums have given away all their electrons, and each nitrogen, which brought five, gained three each. Your final structure here will show that magnesium gave away its electrons, gave away two electrons, leaving it with a plus two charge and charged particles in Lewis structures get square brackets around them. And that happened to three of them, so I need to draw that three times. Okay, nitrogen, on the other hand, gained electrons, so draw them with their original five plus three each. That's eight dots around it, and because they gained three electrons, you write the minus three in there, same thing happened to the second N, but then that was the it, or that was it. That's your completed Lewis structure for Mg3N2. Shouldn't have been a surprise. The formula told you you were going to need three Mg's and two N's to make this work. Speaking of which, you might be allowed to use a shortcut. Three Mg's, you might be allowed to just write three times that Mg diagram to show that there are three of them, and two times the nitrogen diagram to show that there are two of those. Either one should be acceptable. This one's officially more complete. That's it. There's your Lewis structure for magnesium nitride, an ionic compound. Best of luck.